Praise the Lord. This is a special day today. And we thank God for what he's been doing in this Jesus ministry. We give him all the praise and all the glory. And today we're celebrating something very, very special. You've been seeing Frankie in the videos and you've heard about his deliverance, how that he was on drugs and he was on alcohol, but God delivered him and set him free. He was homeless and the Lord came to him and visited him just like Paul was visited on the road to Damascus. And he got his call from God and he became a new creature. God called him on a fast and he fasted for 40 days and for 40 nights and God changed him completely. And since that day, we've grown very close but he's heard from heaven and God has called Frankie to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. And he's joined with us in the ministry of Jesus. And he's just lately been ordained. Oh, he was ordained by God, but he made it official so that we can go into the prisons and do the different things the Lord has called on us to do. And we want you all to welcome Frankie. And when you pray for us, now you're praying praying for Frankie, and he's a part of this Jesus ministry. He's not an associate. Me and him are brothers and servants together, going to preach the gospel and carry the gospel to the whole world and do everything the Lord calls us to do. So welcome, Frankie. We love him, and we know you love him too, and you've been enjoying his shorts, and we just want you all to lift us up before the Lord and join with us as we win every soul that we can before our Lord returns. Guys, this is Frankie. For almost six long years, depressed, suicidal, and on heroin and meth, I lived in this car. Check this out. Hey guys, this is one of the places I wanted to show you where I lived. I lived in my beat up car with no license plates. We're right off of Waterloo Road on the side of the VFW here in Akron. And believe it or not, it may not look like you know, the world could live here, but I lived in my car probably out of six years probably close to four months of the time, four total months. It was insane. Maybe a little less than four months. And the reason I parked here was because the cars couldn't see me coming <laughs> with the bushes. And right in this spot, I got free Wi-Fi. But if I moved my car 10 feet too far, I wouldn't get the Wi-Fi. But 50 year old man on drugs living in a car, how pathetic. Hey guys, here's another spot. Again, 50 year old man on drugs, night and day. I lived right in this spot for probably at least two months, maybe even close to three months of days. That long, day, night, day, night. I would come and leave, but right in this spot, we're behind the Kenmore Boulevard Library, Kenmore Boulevard right over there, so we're in Akron. The only reason I parked here was because it was under camera and I wouldn't get jumped, mugged, or killed, or whatever. Again, a 50-year-old man on drugs, living in a car. Hey guys, there's another spot. You're not going to believe this, but you see where we're at? We're right on Roma Road. Follow me. So I wanted to park where I wouldn't get jumped. Oh, molested by the cops for doing drugs. So I would pull, this is my car now, but I would pull my beat up windowless car next to this truck. Okay, guys, here's another example of stupidity. And I was a professional idiot too. So. This was an apartment building that my cousin and I used to come to party on the roof of. Party, get drunk, get high. And so we would go up to the 11th floor, 11 stories up, and we would do all kinds of stupidness with drugs and alcohol. One of the times I was sitting on the edge of this building with my legs hanging over it, like I was sitting on a chair and I accidentally passed out. When I woke up the next morning, I thought I was just looking up at the sky somewhere and I sat up and I was literally on the edge of this 11 story building. If I'd have moved forward, I'd have fell off. Thank God I didn't. Stupid, huh? Guys, I thought it'd be important for you to see just a fraction of how bad it was for me out there. Suicidal, depressed, on meth, heroin, and every other drug you can think of. But at the end of the day, this video is not about me. It's about what God can do in a life and how he can set the captives free and make brand new creatures out of people that were like me or worse than me. All it takes is a repentant heart and all out surrender so he can convert you. That's all it takes. It's a privilege for me to be a part of the ministry of Jesus now. And I look forward to helping take Jesus to the world with them in this last and final hour. Remember something. If God could save me and do what he's done for me, he can do it for you. 
or your loved ones or anyone. I love you, but more importantly, Jesus loves you. And God bless you. And remember, the truth will set you free if you let it.